get that. So we got broken chest on one side. What should go on the other side? What do you think, Raven? Hmm, <laughs> I think you have something on your mind. All right. I see an empty canvas that yes. needs some art. Yes, yes. All right. Ah, and just so you know, we're at the end point of the SRL pipeline, so that's why it's a good place to rest. He made it 30 miles in how many hours? 12. 30 miles in 12 hours, yeah. people. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks to Raven, too. She took my bag for a few miles and I got to really run. So that helped me make up some time. But it's not even over. This isn't the end of today. We're going to the uh, Ocean County Freeholders meeting. We're going to say, put in a new commissioner for Ocean County. Demand it. The reason why we're very concerned about this location a mile radius from this location is considered the blast zone and our town hall is right less than a mile away the library our first aid station which you will see all of this on your walk yes so yeah i will be and and the thing about this being the end point i uh i did the end point of the Penn East pipeline and they called it the blast zone because the the shifting from a high velocity pipeline to existing whatever else they end up building at this point, like why would it end here? It's got to be going somewhere else. It's not going to end here. Um, ultimately, it's going to be fed into something else that's either going to be built or already is. The, two, the meeting of the two pipe systems means that all this is in a lot more danger because there's a shift. There's a, some kind of a, a, a pressure change that will have to take place. So right here is in a lot more danger, I think, in general, than anywhere else except for maybe a valve station or the compressor station itself at the beginning. So this is itself a place that people should know about. I saw surprisingly few signs once I got into Ocean County or Southern Burlington. Mayor I Palmer, I hope this alerts your attention to this highly dangerous project that is proposed to happen right here in our town, right by your town hall. Yeah, use use whatever authority you have, and if you don't think you have it, just go for it. And the worst that could happen is it'll be appealed and they'll get rid of it. But if you delay this even a little bit, time, the more delay, the harder it becomes for them to do this pipeline. Please, um, Mayor Palmer, come on to our side. We need the town mayors to speak out. We need the freeholders to speak out. I gotta make sure I do this right. Focus. <laughs> I gotta make it really small. <laughs> if this was bigger, it'd be better, but it's the message. Pineland. Oh, this is terrible. We're uh, all going to the Ocean County Freeholders meeting today and speaking out. Pinelands or pipelands? Ah! Pinelands o over pipelands. So it's a choice. It's nice! Over pinelands over pipelands. Got it. Alright, so somebody could do a much better job. Brilliant this, man! The idea is there. Brilliant oh, mind! You're just building me up. So, this is a choice though. It really is a choice. It's that simple. Um, a lot of this has become very scientific and people are referring to other pipelines. We know it's wrong. We know that it's a danger and we know that corporations are going to try and shove it through anyways. So we have to present it to the politicians who are supposed to represent us, not the corporations, that it's just as simple a choice. Are you going to be the Pinelands Commission or the Pipelands Commission? The Pinelands Commission job really is to protect the Pinelands. And I'm going to write, because uh, prospectively, the date of the um, vote on this pipeline, as far as the pi Pinelands are concerned, of letting it through or not, is September 8th, a Friday. Is that when they usually are? The Pinelands days? Commission meeting on September 8th, Friday. I believe it's at 9.30 a.m. Oh, of course. Can the public attend those? Yes. Okay, alright. And they allow signs. <laughs> oh, good. I believe. Alright. So, 
Anyways, now we're making use of both sides. This is still nicer, but actually this is pretty harsh, and that's the reality. You're, you're, I think it's a pretty brilliant sign. And it's almost like the olive branch, too. So, um, we do not trust specifically Alan Avery, who voted for the South Jersey gas pipeline, which is the one that I believe meets up with the BL England coal plant, if I'm correct. Correct, on my yes. And the southern, yes. Catching up on these pipelines. So he already had a chance to prove whether or not he was going to be a steward of the Pinelands or an enemy of them. He proved himself an enemy. He does not deserve a second chance. It's too precious. You don't give second chances to allow somebody who's already proved themselves a murderer of the environment, who is allied with, for whatever reasons, for whatever reasons, he's, he's not on the side of the Pinelands. He's not on the side of the people of Ocean County of New Jersey in general, because these pipelines do not benefit New Jersey. They're ultimately, the gas isn't, we're not in a gas shortage here, um, and it will not be needed during an emergency. It wouldn't even be dangerous to be used. So the kind of excuses they come up of why this should be built are hogwash. I don't usually say hogwash, but for this occasion, I'm saying hogwash. So, um, all right, do you want to um, look at this? Maybe we'll do a roundabout. Do you want to jump in the video? Here is the location at the end of the pipeline. Ra Raven um, knows a bit more about it too. She brought, there was a rally here um, a week I ago. I am a resident two, two. of Manchester Township, so welcome to my town. Join us to speak out against this pipeline. It ends right here, a 30 inch wide pipeline. Why? We don't know. Will they please explain to us why it is here? Is it to export fracking gas? Is it to build the heritage mineral site? Is it? We don't know. But we are opposed to it. There, it is unneeded, it is unnecessary, and it is dangerous. Thank you, everybody. Peace out. Okay. And look, it's right by highways right here. So, a lot of activity. It would be great if we could have people out here with signs every so often. If neighbors got more involved and, and really uh, realized what's at stake, that this isn't a normal pipeline either. So, all right, you said peace out, I'll peace say out. peace out too. All right, that's our video for now. So we're at the end.